Good morning. We are on our way to Korong. We're Cindy and Eddie, and this is Squeeze the Day. We have an adventure in store for you today. On today's adventure, we're starting off by leaving the city of Kampo to get to the island of Koh Rong. In order to get there, we are going to be catching a ride, which will take us over to where the ferry is going to be, and we're just going to show you along the way. Let's go. The first thing we have to do today is take a tuk-tuk over to where the van that picks everybody up is going to be waiting for us. Our next step is to get from the tuk-tuk onto the bus that's going to be taking us down to the city. Now we are on the minivan that's going to be taking us to Hawaii. It's a very crowded minivan, so there's a lot of people in here. It's not that crowded. We only have three in the seat here with us, so yeah, this and one other person, and it could be worse. It could yeah. be four. So it's the cargo yeah. area is pretty full though yeah. behind us. So. This actually isn't too bad. Just another part of the adventure. Let's take a look at what this road looks like. This was a very interesting ride. The first portion of it was fairly smooth. The middle of it had a little bit of a rough road that took a long time to drive over. And it finally ended up with a very smooth transition after the rough road to get to Sahanakville. We knew going into it what this was going to be like. We just didn't know how extensive the road was going to be in that rough portion. But we were okay with whatever it was that we were given. Part of the reason we wanted to do this was because we wanted to be able to experience this kind of travel for ourselves as well as film it so that you can see what this route would look like. What we didn't know was that the benefits of us taking this route was we were able to see some amazing scenery along the way and how people of Cambodia actually live. And to be honest with you, when it really comes down to it, the truth of the matter is we really enjoyed this trip, not only because everything was slowed down and we got to see the countryside, and take a moment to appreciate the scenery. It really showed that we are really not that different from everybody else around the world. <laughs> we were all glad that was behind us. So we're taking a real quick break after the bumpy road. It took about an hour and a half to get past that part, which is a, probably about standard, just because it was a rough road. We did ask about a bus, if a bus could possibly come over, and they said no, there's no way. We totally understand why that's a thing. You cannot get a bus across that area. It's just way too rough. We're also carrying some uh, supplies for the area, so it was a little bit of a fun ride. We enjoyed it, kind of like off-road adventures, but that's just a part of the travel around here. So we're enjoying it so far. The next portion of our trip is going to take us to the port in Sahanakville, where we're going to get on a boat that's going to eventually take us to the island of Koh Rong Samluan. That was our van, and now we're going to the pier. They dropped us off the pier. That is the entrance right there. And right behind me is the building that we went into to get the tickets. We actually entered over here. They gave us the tickets to this boat and we're gonna go inside and sit down and wait for the boat. The boat will be here, I believe about two o'clock. It leaves about 2.30. It should get here pretty quickly and we let the resort know which one we are arriving on so they know where to pick us up at. Basically, they know what's going on because of their history in the area and they have a, a really good knowledge of what time the boat arrives at, where it arrives at, all that stuff. So they know how to get there. And this is what the waiting area looks like. Not too bad. That's the boat everybody's going towards. Gonna get on that after a brief wait and take the speedboat over to the island. That's the boat we're getting on. 
the boat does fill up pretty quick, so make sure you get here as soon as possible to get on the boat on time. Make life easy. The resort actually gave us a boat ride over here. So now we're at the resort. Let's show you what that looks like. Our luggage is already inside. We're gonna go in, check in, and get to our room. And then I'm taking my shoes off because this sand is soft. Of course, we're making friends with the locals. This is what the resort looks like. There's a path that runs right up the middle and you have these really cute bungalows along the side. There's a couple of things to know about the island. First of all, there are no cars, motorcycles, tuk-tuks, anything like that. So if you want to get someplace, you either get there by boat or you walk. So we're going to do a lot of walking over the next couple of days. And we do want to go and check out a couple of things that are available for us to do, like the lighthouse, the beaches. We'll show you a couple of videos. You come along with us for the ride and we're definitely in love in this place. Let's take you inside and show you what it looks like in here. Has a working air conditioner, TV, uh, workstation, large bed. Everything you could need. Everything you can need. Plus a little sitting area out front with two chairs. I think that's where we're going to have our coffees in the morning. Yeah, we're really Definitely. excited about it. <laughs> um, plus, the Hacera Resort has provided us with a complimentary breakfast every morning, which we're going to take advantage of. And like I said earlier, everything on the island you have to walk to get to. So we took a little bit of a rest. Uh, not a nap, we just lay down and relax for a couple minutes. So now we're gonna go check out the rest of the resort. Probably grab some dinner, so you'll see that too. And, and took a look at the water. Yes, definitely checking out that water. They do have restrooms right here, I'm guessing for the restaurant guests. And this is the entryway, so we're gonna go find a table and look at a menu. But first, look at that water. Beachfront dining, anyone? And this is the event we're working on tonight, so maybe we'll catch some of that fire show. This is how close it is to the beach. The water is warm and perfect. So we're gonna be doing some swimming sometime in the next couple of days. For now, we're having a good time. They have a really nice extensive menu. So everything from Eastern local food, which will be like the fried rice and noodles, to Western foods, steaks, burgers, uh, it's some pasta, some pastas, pizza. pizzas. It's a really nice menu. So we are liking that. One of the things that we're going to be able to do is show you a little bit of a fire show tonight. So we hope you enjoy it as much as we are about to. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Right now we do the fire show. The show will be start soon in one or two minutes. The performance that we set up on the way, and I hope you will enjoy the show performance tonight. And the show performance it will take around 20 minutes or 25 minutes on the beach there. After the show performance is finished, you can take the photo with the performance staff. It's very really nice show. Please come to see on the beach right now. Thank you so much. Please enjoy.
That was really amazing. If you're interested in seeing the full length video of that, subscribe to our YouTube membership, which we are starting for the first time right now. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. Continue to follow along as we continue to travel around Cambodia and the rest of the world. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.